We're live. Hello, oh, ladies. How are you? Hi. How is everyone? Thank you guys so much for coming on tonight. I'm Tanis. I'm so excited to have these beautiful ladies with me tonight, sharing our stories, a little bit about what we do and how we got involved from, you know, just being everyday normal gals from working from home and from our phones. So I'm so excited to chat with you girls and um, we're going to chat with Samantha. How are you doing, girl? Hey, how are you? Yeah, I'm good. Can you hear me okay? All right. I can hear you. All right. So I'm just going to go right into my story, you guys, and tell you a little bit about who I am and how I got started with this amazing company about five years ago in March. Um, I am a 32-year-old wife and mama of four. I joined It Works when I was in my 20s and still didn't know what I wanted to be when I grew up. I was a beauty school dropout and working as a restaurant manager. I worked 65 hours a week. So my husband and I were literally passing each other at the door. He worked first shift. I worked second shift. And we would just trade off the kids and I would go. Um, I grew up really broke. My parents were constantly getting collection calls and they were in really bad credit card debt. And I didn't know any of this until I was actually a teenager. They hid it really well. Um, and my parents always treated me like I was a princess and just basically made me think like anything that I wanted, I was able to have until I became a teen and everything kind of just fell into place for me. And I realized we didn't always have the nicest cars and we weren't always able to pay our bills. And um, even though they worked really, really hard, if Walmart didn't have it, I didn't own it. So I was constantly in this state of envy towards my friends and feeling like, you know, they're all off shopping at Hollister and Abercrombie and here I am buying whatever Walmart had on special this week. And that was just the way that life was for me. Um, and ultimately for me, that landed me in really awkward social circles, like really small circles, because I wasn't running with, you know, all the popular kids and the kids that had all of the stuff. Um, so I didn't have a lot of friends. And ultimately when I was in high school, I was bullied basically for the way that I dressed and for not having highlights in my hair and for not knowing how to do my makeup, any of that stuff. And that was really hard. Um, and I never wanted to have kids growing up in um, a world like that. And I never wanted them to feel like they were less than just because they didn't have what the other kids had. Um, so Ultimately, my husband and I wound up kind of in the same debt cycle that my parents were. If you're surrounded by it for so long and you get used to that way of life, it's really hard for you to break that cycle even on your own. Um, so we took on a lot of credit card debt and student loans and just crazy amounts of money that we owed people that we just didn't have. Um, so late one night when I was sick of passing my husband at the door and I was sick of working 65 hours a week, I got that message in my inbox that I've gotten from a hundred people over the last how many years. And that night something just clicked and something told me that it was time to say yes. Um, I had used the products as a customer for a long time. I knew that they worked. I loved what they did for my skin after having babies, but I just wasn't confident enough in myself and my ability to actually sell them to other people. I thought that I wasn't good at sales. The only experience I had was being a bartender. So I didn't think that I was actually able to go out there and convince people to use these products, even though that I knew that they worked. Um, I was drowning in debt from all of these things that we had going on. We had um, hospital bills from having two miscarriages between our babies and also two preterm labors. Um, so those were really bad as well. And I knew that we needed a way out. So I, I started and I joined and I gave myself a chance, even though I had a small social circle and, not, and didn't know a lot of people. And I seriously fought so hard to be successful because I knew that if I would give this my all, if I would go out there and soak up all the information and everything that I could, and I would really try that I could be successful. Um, and I wanted my babies and my husband to be proud of me. And I also wanted to take a lot of the financial burden off of them. So having something that big um, driving me was the force to get me to where I am now. So I've been with this company for five years, like I told you, and within my first six months, I um, promoted three times to our rank of Emerald and I was making about 700 bucks a month. And at that point, everything was good. I was happy. I was paying our cell phone bill, my car payment, life was grand. So I stayed at that rank for a pretty long time. Um, 
And I was just happy with that extra money. So before I got to my two year mark, I got this fire in my belly that I was just ready for more. I knew that I could make more money and our company just dropped these double good bonuses. And I knew that this insane amount of money was right in front of me. And I just had that feeling like it was time to go. Um, so that month, that January, right after our conference that we just had, I promoted to diamond, earned an insane bonus. The month after that, I promoted to double diamond. And I was just happy again. I quit my job, stayed home full time. And I just rode that double diamond because life was grand. I was a stay at home mama. I always wanted to be, and I was happy. Um, I convinced my husband a little bit after going double that we needed to have another baby. And we had tried really, really hard. We ended up having a miscarriage again between our last child and this one. Um, so when we found out that we were pregnant in June of 2018, I knew that in order to continue to be a stay at home mom, I needed to be making more money. So I told my husband it was time that we went on a ran again, run again, and we promoted to triple diamond two months after finding out that we were pregnant. Um, triple is awesome. You guys, the amount of money that I was making, I had never seen in a paycheck in my life. Um, but kept going, um, had a really, really hard pregnancy. I was sick all the time. I was super tired. I knew I was having a girl because of all of those symptoms, but we just <laughs> kept going. And I promoted to presidential diamond the month after I had Delaney. Wow. Um, and within that amount of time, since I joined, I've earned over $125,000 in bonuses between my account and my husband's. We're now making five figures a month from my cell phone sharing our life you guys I share what we do in our everyday life with my friends and family and we also share our love for these products because we both use them and are walking testimonies of how amazing they are um we are credit card and debt free we paid off all of our loans we paid off our hospital bills purchased two new vehicles we built a savings account those words do not exist in my life um and we within reason never have to say no to our children so just that feeling alone is everything to me. Um, so I joined this business for financial reasons, but I fell in love with the company for the woman that it has made me today. And also the people that I am surrounded by every single day, which is my team and my sideline. And if my formerly depressed introverted self can do this, anybody can. Oh, that's amazing, Samantha. Way to go. Congratulations. I'm so proud of you. That's amazing. We were just talking about how we both just are having our five-year anniversary with this company. We're so so, so grateful. So thank you so much for sharing with us. Um, I love that all the ladies tonight have different stories. And uh, next up is this beautiful little thing. Cheyenne, um, can you share your story with us and your huge announcement that you just had? So exciting. Hey guys, um, I am Cheyenne Knox. I'm 21 years old and I've been in the business for about three years now. So when I joined, I was actually a high school student. I was a senior, um, I was 18 and it was like a month after I had turned 18. So I was barely an adult. Um, and I came across, you know, someone posting on Instagram, just like this video you're coming across. I'd never really heard of the opportunity. I'd seen some other people in network marketing, but honestly, I had no idea what it was. Um, the only job I'd ever had was a hostess at a restaurant. And it was just something I worked, you know, to make it some extra cash, pay some, uh, pay for gas in high school. And I was just, you know, Growing up wasn't easy, you know, kind of like um, Samantha was talking about, you know, you didn't realize, you know, as a kid, how tight money truly was. And so when it came down to high school, it was like, if you want those senior pictures and if you want to be a part of those clubs and a part of those organizations, like you have to pay for it. And so I always just worked little, I worked my hostess job and I uh, painted things in high school to just make ends meet. And then I came across this business and was like, you know, I don't know. I don't know about it. don't know if this actually works, but if it does, like I'm going to try it. And so I got started and within my first month, I made over $500. And when I first saw that paycheck, I was just like, what <laughs> is this real? Like, I just had no idea how it even worked. And it was like, from that moment on, I realized that, you know, this business, what I love about it most is that whatever you put in is what you get out of it. And yeah. so when I saw that, I was like, I want more. Um, you know, I grew up and we were on government assistance. We were on food stamps. I lived, I came from a trailer. Like I lived in a trailer house growing up. Like it's, I think that's the biggest thing of just seeing this business is seeing that you can come from any walk of life. It doesn't matter what your story looked like before. It doesn't matter what you want your story to look like, how old you are. Um, you can be successful in this. And so 
five months into the business, I promoted a diamond, which is the first full-time income. Um, it was three days after I graduated high school, which was so crazy because I remember everyone was like, oh my gosh, like what? And mm -hmm. what I love most about this too, is just the fact that I kind of, I changed the way that people look at you know, going to college and doing it the right way. Like I try to just show young people that like, you don't have to do it the way that they tell you to, because I make more now than I would have ever with a career that I thought I was supposed to do. Um, and so after that, I went to college. I paid for all my college tuition in cash with this business. I paid $968 of textbooks and school supplies on the first day of school. And I just remember thinking when I did that, I was like, I don't know where this would have come from. Like I would have had to pull out all these student loans and take out all this debt. And, you know, this was my way out. This was my way to break that, you know, I guess poverty generation, you know, generational curse of just, I didn't want that. I was so terrified of having to, you know, be on food stamps and my parents worked hard to give us everything that we had and that we needed, but I didn't want that. I didn't want that life at all. And I never wanted my kids to struggle in the way that I did. And so, you know, that went to college and I was able to work this business all through my schedule. I thought I was going to go to school to be a nurse because it had always been on my heart to help people. And I made a 52 in anatomy <laughs> and realized I was like, hmm, I don't think this is for me. And I actually um, went double diamond, which was an average of $5,000 a month, all from my phone. And I realized, you know, okay, if I can go diamond and I can go double diamond now, like I can show so many other people how to do this. And that's truly when I started having people on my team making a full-time income and being able to pay the extras and pay for their school. And it was like, this isn't even about me anymore. Like I have an opportunity on my hands where I can literally change lives. And I didn't, I truly didn't realize the impact until I hit that point. And so Right after that, three months after I finished my freshman year of college, I went triple diamond, which is VIP leader in this company. And I was making five figures a month at 19 years old. Um, I had taken over all the bills from my parents. I had, you know, I've never asked my parents for a single dime since I turned 18, since I joined this business. I've been able to help them out in ways that I thought they'd still be helping me, <laughs> thought they'd still be putting me through college and I would still be asking them for gas money. And now I've been able to give back to my family in so many ways. And then three months after that, so six months after I went to double diamond. We went presidential diamond. I had at that point earned $55,000 in bonuses and I was now averaging $20,000 a month all from my phone and I had just turned 21. So, or no, actually 20. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so it was so, it was so, so insane. Um, and, you know, with that, I was able to hit a six figure savings account. I went into a dealership and picked out a brand new Tahoe and I paid cash for it. Um, and actually two weeks ago, I bought my first home. Yeah. So I was able to look at, you know, I just contacted one of my friends and we, one of my realtor friends and I was like, Hey, like, I, I think I want to buy a house. Like I just felt this calling on my heart. I was like, I think I just want to buy a house. I don't know. Like, am I too young for this? Like, and I'd always, I've always felt like that. Like I'm too young to do this. I'm too young to buy a car. And I was like, no, that's just the way that society tells you. Like you don't live like that. Cause that's not the way that it is. Wow. And so I am now a homeowner and I just, it's so crazy to say it because I just remember wanting something. I just wanted something to work. And I felt it in my bones when I joined this business. And there's just, there's nothing else out there like this business, honestly. I could sit here and talk about the, how financially it's changed my life and all the materialistic things I've been able to do. But it ultimately comes down to the fact that this company's home. You don't find, you know, a culture like this or integrity like this or just, I mean, our, our company's family owned. They're all in it and they all partake in it. And I love that. And I think it's so special that, you know, we all get to be a one big happy family and just the culture of this and with it being a Christian based company like they I've never it's just it's it's even hard to put into words. Um, but, you know, all of that has happened just because I made one decision. I made one decision that ultimately not only impacted my life, but my future family's life. And the fact that, you know, when I joined, most people had kids and they were married. And I was like, this is not going to work for me because I'm too young for this and I have no experience. But I am living proof to say that this business is made for anyone and everybody. And now that I made that decision, it impacts me. It impacts my future family that I don't have yet that I get to plan ahead for. Um, and then it also helps all of my team. Like my team is in college. I have mamas on my team. I have people that have been able to purchase cars and stay home with their you know, family and bring home their husbands from work. And it's like, three years ago, I made a decision laying in bed as a senior, just like, oh, let's just do it, you know, pay $99. And I didn't even pay for it. I had 20 cents in my account. Thank goodness for my dad <laughs> who paid for me to join the business. But it's just crazy because I look back and think about who I was 
then as an 18 year old and I don't I don't even think I would recognize her anymore I just feel it's just the confidence that I feel and who I am and I feel like once you join this business you're nearly forced to level up you're forced to grow you're forced to become better um and I mean it's pretty special when you get to change lives for a living truly and honestly that's all it comes down to so that's a little bit about me that's amazing thank you so much and it's crazy like it's it's so true how you said everything changes around you and everything gets better right because you're just you're in a company that just pours like everything into you and it's just incredible. So thank you so much for sharing and congrats. Of thank you. Again. That's crazy. So amazing. Next up is beautiful Kay. Kay, how are you? And Hello. I'm so good and excited to be here with all of you. Thanks yeah. Candace, for putting this together. Yeah, I'm so excited to have you. Please share all about okay. you and your beautiful new house and everything. Yeah, this is like crazy, y'all. I just, my husband and I just moved into our newly built home a week and a day ago, which is crazy to think about. Um, my story has a long, it's it's been a long, incredible road. And I'm going to share this with you guys because I have such a different and unique perspective when it comes to this business, because I grew up with this company. I was 12 years old when my mom discovered our wrap which is one of our flagship products and started the company. And I grew up in the world of multi-level marketing. I was six years old when my mom started in the industry, looking for a way to be home with my brother and I, but still bring an extra income. As a mom now of two boys, um, I totally get it. Now I complete, completely appreciate why she made that decision to look at this industry as a viable business opportunity because being with my kids every day and having the flexibility to be with them, it, it, it's like you, you can't put a price tag on that. Like you absolutely cannot put a price tag on that. And even today, like my son wasn't feeling good and wanted to stay home from school and needed to. And we were just able to go, yeah, like you don't feel good. Your, your ear hurts, like stay home, watch Ferris Bueller's day off and eat potato chips. Like, I don't care because I can, I can, I can literally just allow him that. And that is just so incredible to me. And so I, I look back at, at our life and it's not like my mom had all this crazy experience with the industry. She just looked for the right company to join. And she joined a company for six years and that served her really well until she discovered the wrap and had had something in her hands where she thought, I can change the world with this product. I can, I can help people come home and be with their babies. I can, I can provide for them my vision of what this industry can be. And so she started this company with our CEO, Mark Pentecost, and they partnered up. And that was almost 20 years ago. I'm 32 years old. And so from the time I was 12 until I was in college, I was really her biggest cheerleader. You know, I would go to a in home events with her, I would go watch her. I remember the first time I ever saw her speak on stage and it was really not a big stage. It was like a riser in a conference room, but I thought it was like this big, huge stage and she was Madonna, you know, like I just thought, oh my gosh, like I just thought she was the queen, you know? And um, I just remember that, but I, re I grew up hearing the stories, you know, it's not like we had zoom back then, but she was always on the phone and having conference calls and things like that. And, and going to those events and hearing about people paying off debt and hearing about, you know, people's bodies shifting and changing and they're living their best life. And so that was always ingrained in me. And I think about my children now, like listening to all of this and hearing all of this and seeing the fruits of this business that that did implant something in me. I just didn't know it till I was in college. And while I was in college, the economy crashed. And so I have a degree in fashion merchandising. I was going to be a buyer. I had a great job lined up after college, um, working with a boutique uh, internationally. But but I just I don't know something about this company was always in the back of my head. And when I was in college, because my parents were able to pay for that in cash, my parents were able to pay for my brother and I to go to college at the same time in cash. They were able to pay for me to study abroad in cash because of this company. I knew that. And I, I didn't want to graduate college and not have a great lifestyle. I was already exposed to something that but broaden my perspective. And that's what I realized. And so I knew that I had to do it for myself. 
I knew that, you know, I was going to be cut off. You know, I was listening to Cheyenne. I'm like, you know, you're out of college and you're like, you're done. Like they're not, that's it, you know? And I knew that time was coming for me. And so, um, and so my parents came over to see me in Italy. It was the last leg of my trip abroad. And for the first time in the last, you know, decade and a half, I actually asked my mom, can you just tell them, actually it was a decade. The company had been around nine years at the time. And I asked her, can you just show me like what it is that you do? Can I, can you just explain the business side to me? Because I had never asked. I mean, I knew people were wow. making great money, but I had never asked that question. And so she brought out a napkin. She's like freaking out. She's like, oh my gosh, she's, she's interesting. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is a big deal. Cause she had always told me, I'm watching my timer. She had always told me that I would be great at this. Yeah. You know, she had always said, just like people watching right now, like someone's told you, you'd be great. You're here because someone believes in you. Someone sees something in you. She always saw that in me. And when I finally asked, I realized how simple it really was. It wasn't this complex thing that I thought our, our entire compensation plan is based off three simple steps. And she wrote those down on a napkin for me in that train ride. And she, and I'm like, that's it. She goes, if you would follow these steps and repeat them over and over and over and over again, you could be a millionaire in this company. And I was like, that's really cute, but I'm here for about $500. Like I can make $500 extra a month, mom. I will be so happy because I was still thinking I had an entire year, you know, before I graduated college. And I'll, the, the thing that shifted for me is when I got back to Richmond, Virginia, where I lived, I had an event. I had a girlfriend host a party for me in her apartment. It was the middle of January. So I've been in 11 years this month. It was the middle of January. It was snowing. I remember it being so chilly cold and I'm thinking no one is going to show up. There is not one person that's coming to this party. It is cold. It is snowing. Like these girls, they don't care. And six girls came that day. These girls never once even stepped foot in my clothing store. They never came about clothing for me. Like the last thing they were going to do is spend $200 on a top when they're like buying pizza for dinner, you know, it just didn't make any sense, but they came to my party and I'm like, oh my God, they're here. They bought product. They paid cash that day. They signed up as my customer. So I was making residual income, like on the spot and me with my like business math mind, I'm like, this is genius. I'm going to make money. Like I can do this. And so that lit a fire in me and I really went to work and I had made a conscious decision. Cause I, I, I saw my mom's work ethic. I was like, I, I know what she's got it. She's done. I'm going to, I'm going to go all in here. And I made a conscious effort that that year in college it was my senior year that I was just going to go all in. And between my studies, I was working. It was 11 o'clock at night and I'm sitting in the Starbucks library and I'm following up. Like I had just made a decision and that decision propelled me to five figures a month within my first year. So I graduated college at 22 years old, making five figures a month. And I listened to Cheyenne and I'm like, yeah, I get that. That was me too. Like 22 years old making $10,000. And so long story short, I'll speed it up. But that, that was my, that's the backbone behind my story. And it's carried me 11 years in because now I have a family. I have a phenomenal husband who's in the, the music industry. I have two boys. We just built our dream home that I just remember thinking like, this was my Pinterest board vision. <laughs> it wasn't like my reality. This was like the things I dreamed about as I pinned things on Pinterest. That's it. Okay. Until we actually were able to do it. And now we're able to raise our family here. We want to expand our family. We have really clear vision of doing that. And it's like, this business has allowed us to live out the dreams that I know so many of you seem like they're so impossible, but through it works, they're not, you know, our company's all about helping you get out of debt. They're always going to bring products that are top of the line, completely well thought out and well planned, hot in the industry, things your customers want and will be drooling over. And that's never going to go away. Mm -hmm. And this year we're focusing on building a billion dollar brand. And we are all focused on helping you have more time, more energy, more effort, more 
more money, more time freedom, all of those things that you're looking for. And so I know that even 11 years in, I have a hotter, hotter, hotter relationship with this company. I am more fired up about building this business than I ever have been. And a lot of you are, are sick and tired of your businesses after five years, even after two years doing what you're doing in your career. But this business, I feel like just evolves and evolves and it, the heartbeat is still there. So um, these stories just inspire me too. And I know that for those of you watching, just just think about the life that you want to live. Think about that Pinterest board that you have right now and just realize that those dreams that you have are 100% possible through this company. Wow, I love that. Oh, thank you for sharing all that, Kay. It's just, I have chills, right? I have chills every single year. Um, oh, so thank you so much. Hey, Sarah. So Sarah's in Texas. She's going to share a little bit about her story. And uh, yeah, go ahead, girl. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay. So my name's Sarah Artizoni. Um, I've been with the company for about seven and a half years now. And um, okay, I have a crazy story. So back before I got started, um, I was in a long-term relationship. It was, you know, very unhealthy to say the least, verbally and emotionally abusive. And I was just kind of at that point um, where I knew I should leave. I knew it probably wasn't going to last forever, but I wasn't quite ready. I just kept hoping for change. You know, um, I had two little boys. I had, well, when I signed up, I had a three month old and a 19 month old, and I was working 60 plus hours a week, waiting tables, picking up, ex you know, every extra shift that I could just to try to make ends meet. Um, we were on food stamps on WIC, uh, state healthcare, and thank goodness for family that was willing to babysit the kids while we were at work, um, because we definitely could not afford daycare. And so um, I just, when I heard about, you know, the rap from one of my girlfriends from the high school, she was actually getting ready to come out to Arizona. She lived in um, Illinois, and I was in Arizona at the time. And I remember she just texted me and she was like, you should let me rap you. And I was like, what are you talking about? I hadn't seen any of her posts. And she was like, oh yeah, this is what it does. And, and she sent me her pictures. And, you know, I remember back in high school where we were both very petite and she had recently had her second baby and she gained a lot of, she gained like 80 pounds with her first. And so, and I knew that because I had seen her, we were friends. And so when she sent me her before and after pictures from this product, I was like, I need that. I had just had my second C-section in, in 16 months. And so my stomach needed help. And so um, the only problem was that I couldn't afford it. I could not afford the $25 that it costs to just try one. And so um, she was getting ready to come out to Arizona and she asked me to host a party and I was like, fine, whatever. Like, I don't know if anyone's going to come because I don't have any, like, I didn't have any close friends. I had some people from work and that was it. And so I was like, whatever, like type something up that I can send out. And so she did. And I was bound and determined to get at least my five people there so that I could try the wrap for free because I, there was no way I could pay $25 for it. And so I ended up getting, you know, like six or seven girls and you know, everybody saw results and I will never forget the picture or like, or the image at the end of the night of her putting $350 cash in her pocket and walking out my door. Like I can still see that right now. And just thinking, you know, in that moment that that would have changed everything for my family. I could catch up on, you know, my electric bill that I was a couple months behind on. I could, you know, buy more diapers, formula, whatever I needed. And so um, it was May. And again, I lived in Phoenix at the time. The summer was the hardest part of the year for us. Um, the electric bill would go up to like four or $500 a month. And again, I was waiting tables and it was the slow season. So it was really hard for us at that time of year. And so um, leading up to this party, my girlfriend had, had offered me the opportunity and I was like, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Is this legit? It, I remember my dad um, when I was young, signed up for one of those pyramid schemes. And I swore that I was never going to be so stupid to fall for that. And so I didn't even realize that this was network marketing when she first started talking to me about it, but I just didn't think that I knew enough people. And I didn't think that I would be good at it. And I just, I didn't think I had time, you know, all those things that, that we hear all the time. And so, um, finally, when I saw her leave my house with $350, I just couldn't stop thinking about that and how much it would help. And so I was like, I have to do this. And 
I got called every name in the book by my partner at the time when I mentioned wanting to do it. It was like World War III, but I just knew that something had to change and that I, like, it wasn't going to change on it on its own. So I had to be the one to change it. And so I pulled out my very last credit card that I had just used my tax refund to like pay down. So it was under the limit instead of over the limit. And I maxed it out again to sign up for this business. And I just remember I was so terrified. I was like, no matter what, like, even if I do nothing with this business, I only had a goal of hundred dollars a month. I didn't think I was going to be here very long. Um, but I knew at the very least I had to sell the products that came in my kit. I couldn't even use them because I had to make the money back that I spent first before I could do anything else. And so I just started doing what I saw her doing. And I started talking to people. I had my own results that I could share. And so um, I just started talking to more people and more people wanted the products. And then every time I would wrap somebody, we got more excited together. And then I would talk to more people and it just snowballed. And so um, I would say pretty quickly for me, like in the first couple of weeks, I realized what I truly had my hands on. I'm like, wait, why am I only trying to make a hundred dollars a month? Like that would be stupid to not run with this. Mm -hmm. And so I did. And again, like I did not have a supportive like home situation. And so I would work, you know, I had two days off a week that I had both my kids home again, a breastfeeding infant and a crazy busy toddler. And so I would have people come to my house, like on those two days starting, I don't know, as early as they would come because I was up at 4.30 in the morning. <laughs> and so from like seven o'clock in the morning till eight, nine, sometimes later at night, every 45 minutes. And at the end of the day, I would go to the bank and make a deposit to pay off my credit cards. And I remember after like a month, I had to go tell my neighbors that I was not doing anything illegal because I knew what it probably looked like from the outside. Um, so anyway, it just snowballed. And I ended up promoting to our diamond rank in six months. Uh, three months after that, I went double. And three months later on my one-year anniversary, I went triple diamond. Um, it was just crazy. And so um, I, right after I went triple diamond, things got to that point in the relationship where I just, I had to go, it got physically violent and I had to leave on this, you know, at the drop of a hat. And so looking back, I'm just so, so grateful for this business and so thankful that I worked as hard as I did in that year, because had I not, I would have been in a shelter with my two kids. But instead, I was able to go and, you know, find a new house the same day, rent, rent it out, you know, pay first month's rent, last month's rent, deposit, and completely furnish a whole new house because all I took was my clothes, my kids' clothes, and their bedroom furniture. That was it. And so um, I had to get everything. And the feeling of being able to do that without having to check my bank account, like that's something that it's just, there's nothing like it. And so, um, fast forward, I am now happily married. Uh, I went presidential diamond, like two years after I went triple, my husband's in the business with me. He's a triple diamond. We've earned, uh, $190,000 in bonuses combined. I mean, it's, it's crazy. Wow. Absolutely crazy. Um, and our life just looks so different. Um, I never would have ended up with my husband had I not started this business and our life would not look the way it does. I've spent, oh, like six and a half years now fighting my ex in court with, you know, visitation stuff with kids. And again, like I wouldn't have been even able to pay for a lawyer um, had it not been for this business. But because I made that decision that, that every single one of us has talked about, I made that decision seven and a half years ago. I jumped in and I hit the ground running. And because of that, I haven't had to worry about that. I've been able to pay for an attorney. I've paid over a hundred thousand dollars in attorney's fees over the course of six years. And I'm sure that we'll probably be more in the future, unfortunately, <laughs> but that's just how life goes. And so, you know, two years ago, my husband got um, an incredible job offer here in Texas. And as much as I didn't want to leave Arizona, I was able to be a supportive, happy wife and say, let's go because I can work from anywhere. And so 
we decided to go on an adventure and here we are in Texas and we also just bought a house that seems to be a, a running theme tonight we also just bought a house a couple months ago and it's amazing because when we first moved to Texas um, we had one day to find a house it was very very fast and so we just had to go with the best option that was available in the part of town that we wanted um, but I have four young kids now you guys I didn't mention I had two more kids but I have four kids um, ranging from almost three to nine. And so we are busy. We have between the kids, I have um, my, seven, my seven-year-old, he's almost eight, has um, all kinds of like behavioral stuff. He's got ADHD and oppositional defiance disorder, anxiety, and some other stuff that they're still trying to diagnose. Uh, my five-year-old has the sensory processing stuff. And so we're busy. We are so busy and, and we were cramped in this house and it wasn't tiny, but for us, it was tiny and it was cramped and there was not enough space. And so um, being able to say, you know what, we're leaving this house. It doesn't matter if we're in a lease. Like, I don't care. We're buying a bigger house with more space because we can and because we don't have to worry about if we can afford paying more than we currently are for a bigger house. And it's been such a huge difference. And you know, on top of all of the, obviously the, the material and financial things and ways that this business has changed our life. Um, you know, I think it was Cheyenne that said it, you know, this business forces you to grow and to evolve if, if you are ever going to be successful to any extent. And so I was so introverted when I started, you would have never caught me on a video like this. You would have never caught me live on Facebook. I was so introverted and so, so negative. And, you know, if it wasn't for this business forcing me to step out of my comfort zone, you know, I just, I just decided that I was going to, because I realized that if I wanted to change my life, I had to change, right? I had to change. And so I stepped out of my comfort zone over and over and over and over again. And I started being more willing to talk to people and I started being more positive. And all of those things brought these incredible people who are also in this business into my life. And so there's really just nothing like it. I mean, the friendships are incredible. And that's one thing that I love too, because, you know, outside of this company, I don't know about you ladies, but outside this company, women are typically not nice to each other. And it makes me so sad. I always had more guy friends than girlfriends because who knew what was happening behind your back? And you don't find that within this business. And I just think that's so, so special. Oh, thank you so much, Sarah, for sharing. I'm so, so happy for you that you're able to get out of a situation. Um, I have a similar story like that. One of the girls on my team and, um, I'm so, that's so great that you're able to get out of that. So congratulations. So thank you so much. Now, Carrie and I met on a cruise. Hey, girl. We did. Yeah. <laughs> it was so I'm much excited. fun. Now, Carrie, how many kids do you have again? Four or five? Six. Oh, sorry. Six. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, fun fact, Sarah and I had a baby on the same day. Oh, wow. Yeah. And when she said an almost three-year-old, I was like, do not age these babies. They are two. <laughs> Uh, okay, so I have been with the company for 10 years. So to condense that 10 years down into a couple minutes is going to be difficult, but I'm just going to highlight on a couple of things that have been important to me recently. When I first joined this company, so many people have these great stories. Like I was on food stamps. I was going to lose my house, blah, 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 blah. And I didn't have any of that. I just, I wrapped, I had fantastic results. And the girl who wrapped me, she's like, do you want to be a customer? Do you want to get some more of these? And I'm like, you know what? I had great results and I feel like everybody will want this. I want to do what you do. Like, that was it. Like I asked her if I could join her and she was like, you what? Like she, because she was <laughs> brand new. And, and I'm like, yeah, I want to do what you do. Well, she's like, okay. Like she was so confused, but, um, I didn't really know what I was doing, but I was really excited. So I just called a bunch of friends and I ended up signing six customers my first week. And then I didn't do anything else, like nothing else for almost a year and a half. But what was really cool about it is it's residual income. So that I got like 50, $60 paychecks. 
every single month for that year. And I didn't even know where they were coming from. I didn't really understand it all. And I was still getting a paycheck for that work I did that first week. It was incredible. So fast forward to about a year and a half later, suddenly it clicked for me. And I was like, oh, this is a business. I can do this. I can work it as a business. And I like, this is going to be great. Let me try this. So I was pregnant with my now eight-year-old at the time. I can't believe she's eight. And by the time she, I had never promoted. I didn't, I had never signed up a distributor. I, I didn't have any team, like zero team. But by the time she was born, two days before her due date, three days before her due date, I promoted to the rank of double diamond. And I know that doesn't mean anything to a lot of you guys, but it meant that during that pregnancy, yes, I was pregnant. Yes, I worked it. I went from $50 paychecks to $5,000 paychecks. Like how exciting is that? Welcoming in that little baby and knowing that you could buy whatever stroller you want, whatever crib you want, whatever diaper she needs. Like you don't have to worry about any of that stuff. So let me fast forward. Um, I moved, I had more kids, things like that. Um, whenever I first joined, we didn't have bonuses. Then bonuses were announced and I was, I'm really competitive, especially with myself. So uh, bonuses were announced and I was like, Oh, I can get that one. And then I was like, Oh, wait, I can get that one for my spouse too. Wait, I can get that one for me. I can get that one for him. I'm like, I was just like planning it all out and I did it. I did it. In total, I've earned $225,000 in bonuses. That's ridiculous. Like that is so crazy. And almost all of it was from my phone. How is this even real life? Like it was from my phone. So I want, I I'm like in awe that we can do all of this stuff. And I'm in, I'm in awe that most people don't realize what we do and how it actually is legitimate and how it actually does provide for our families. This is how I pay my bills. This is real money. It pays for real stuff, it pays for real cars, it pays for real food. So, <laughs> um, recently my son and now I'm going to talk as a mom here my son he's autistic okay he's 11 years old and we've known he was autistic for a long time he got his official diagnosis when he was five so we've known we have therapies all that stuff we, we you know we knew and but he didn't know and then one day because of this business i learned that maybe some of the stuff that he has issues with, maybe he doesn't need to have issues with that. You know, maybe he can think faster. Maybe he won't be as tired. So uh, we went to a doctor that was recommended um, actually by Kay, who's on the Zoom. And be that doctor was able to diagnose him with a parasite, leaky gut. He's had so many labs. He's had so many doctor's appointments. And these are not cheap. They're not cheap at all. Like just to take him to the doctor is at least a hundred dollars just for the labs alone. I got the bill and it said 4,000 something dollars. And I'm like, Oh, how do people pay for this stuff? This is crazy. I just had to pay for what insurance didn't pay, but it was just insane. Like the medical bills, I can see they just stacked on top of each other. I can see how people get buried in them, but I just paid them as they go. And then the most difficult part about his diagnosis is that his lifestyle completely changed. He's dairy-free, sugar-free, soy-free, gluten-free, canola oil-free, like pork-free. That was a hard one, like no ham. Pork-free. He's uh, He can't eat any of that stuff. Do you know what that leaves you with? I'll tell you. That leaves you with really expensive food. <laughs> like extremely expensive food. How many of you guys have ever gone to the grocery store and you spent $80 and you have two little bags of food? Yeah. I, have, I do that all the time because it needs to be organic and it needs to have no chemicals. And that's the stuff that makes stuff cheap, all those chemicals. So I went to Sprouts tonight and the girl was like, Hey, I haven't seen you this week. And I'm like, how do the, the girls at Sprouts know who I am? Because that's where I shop for all of his food. <laughs> so I've been really vocal 
about his journey on Facebook. And um, the one thing that I kept hearing, and I heard this so many times, like my doctor diagnosed me with leaky gut, but I can't afford the lifestyle change. I can't afford to change my diet that much. It's so expensive. Do you know how much it costs? And I'm like, yeah, I do. I pay for all of that stuff for him. There's no way in the world I ever want to look at my son and say, dude, I know like these parasites make it so you can't think. I know they make you tired. I know they made you gain weight. I know they make you sick all the time, but I'm sorry. I can't pay for your anti-parasitic meds that are like $800 a pill. I can't do that. I'm sorry. I can't pay for your food, even though I know it's going to make you healthy. There is no way in the world I will ever want to do that. Our children are worth so much more so much more. So if you're not in a position right now that you can help your child like that, find a way to get in a position where you can help them because you never, ever know when life will change. You ne- I, I would never have expected this ever. Like the kid lived on chicken nuggets and mac and cheese. He only liked five foods in the world. Like I never, ever would have been like, I was going to be sugar free. Never, ever would I've expected this. And I definitely didn't expect a parasite. When I saw his lab results, the options of what was wrong with him were um, cancer or parasite. And I'm like, my son has cancer. No, he actually had a parasite. I thought cancer was more likely. So like, you never know, like things just come out of left field. So just speaking as a mom, we want to be able to take care of our children. And this vehicle is how I can do it. And it's not just money. It's time too. Mm -hmm. Just two weeks ago, I think it was my daughter. She said, Hey, guess what? I'm a terrific kid. And I'm like, congratulations. I think you're awesome. And she said, no, no, I'm a terrific kid at school. My class voted. I'm like, Oh my gosh, that is so cool. I never heard of that. And she's like, yeah, I have an assembly. And I'm like, Oh, yay. I love those things. When is it? She's like today at 8 AM. And I'm like, what? So what did I do? I got dressed and I drove to the school and I cheered and I took pictures because that's what I do. I didn't have to call into a job. I didn't have to be late to a job. I didn't have to miss work. I didn't have to do anything like that. She needed me. Well, I I mean, I say she needed me. I don't miss assemblies. I love those things. So I was able to just at the drop of a hat, go go to her assembly earlier this last year, you know, I guess it was December last year. I spoke in front of her class for career day. Isn't that fun? So this business is not just the money. It's the time. It's the taking care of your children. It's the people that you meet. It's, it's so much more. Oh, thank you, Carrie, so much. All your stories are amazing, ladies. And I'm just going to quickly share mine and then I'm going to wrap this up. Wrap this up. Um, so I had watched someone on, my name's Tanis. I'm in Canada. I had watched someone on Facebook, you guys, for over a year. I didn't like, comment, or message her. I just stalked her like every single day. And I kept thinking like, what, what is this that she's doing? And, you know, I kept seeing these products, this wrap. And I was super skeptical, but I was very intrigued. I was like, you know, she was super broke. And then all of a sudden she was making money, retiring her husband. And she had this life. And I was like, like, how did she do this? And she was just sharing products and a business that she loved. So I was on mat leave and in Canada, you get a year uh, on mat leave. And it sounds like it's really great. But at the time we were getting more and more in debt, um, My husband had a job that wasn't, you know, that great. I was, um, I was a bartender and I was also managing a gym and doing other little side things. And when I had my daughter, I, I got to this point where I was like, you know what, I want to be home with my daughter. And, you know, when you're home for a year and it's hard, like, how do you go back to work? Um, in the States, I mean, you guys have like two months or something like that, six weeks. So I told my husband, I said, I'm going to do this. And he's like, do what? I said, I'm going to join this business and talk about the products and it's going to change our lives. He's like, okay. He's like, just make sure you make money. And I was like, yeah, I'm going to do it. And so I was so excited. I joined right away five years ago. 
And like Cheyenne was saying, in my first month, I was just super excited. I was sharing the products. I was giving out samples and I started making money. And I was just, and I really had no idea what I was doing, but I was excited. In three and a half months, I promoted to Diamond and then I didn't have to go back to my job. And then within eight months later, so within my first year, I started making six figures. Now it was crazy. Um, you know, I was just, Every single day, I was just excited talking about the products, meeting up with people, and just, I thought, if that girl could do it, why couldn't I do it too? Um, you know, I was getting, you know, my paychecks and thinking like, holy, like, I, this, this is huge. I can go all the way to the top with this. Um, so I went to an event in Florida, and I kept seeing all these incredible women across the stage as millionaires, changing all their lives, coming from all these different backgrounds, like all these ladies. And I thought, I'm going to do that. Like, why can't I do this too? So my first few years, you guys, I was like up, 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 up. I, I earned my first, like I said, five figure paycheck. Then I doubled it. Then I doubled it again. And I told my husband, I'm like, you don't have to work anymore. Like you can come home. We can do this. We can buy a new house. We can buy vehicles. We can pay off all our debt. Um, we paid off over $70,000 in debt in three and a half months. Um, you know, things were really, really great. Um, I earned close to $200,000 in bonuses and it was just, it was just life-changing. And then 2017 spring, I just come back from a leadership trip in Spain um, with our international team. And I had really bad news that my dad was really ill and um, it just broke me. And I, I was daddy's girl, uh, still am, even though he's not here. And, you know, I was able to go to all his appointments with him and I'm still earning like a life changing income by being able to be with my dad. And my dad always said, he's like, he was my biggest cheerleader. And he said, this business is like, you know, he was a business owner too. And he always said to me, he's like, Tannis, like, I've never seen anything like this. You know, my accountant has always said like that, said that too. He's like, I've never seen anything like this. And, you know, that whole year and a bit, I was able to have the freedom of time. I still have the freedom of time being with my dad, going to his appointments. And I was able to take my family on a two week vacation, not have to worry about any bosses, not have to worry about, you know, an income or anything um, or like how to pay it. We just paid it in cash. And what this business has taught me is that literally like the sky's the limit. You you know, the ladies were saying, if you can dream it, you can do it. You know, I never in my wildest dreams thought I could make in one month that used to take me a year working 60 hours a week, working for someone else, building their dream. Um, so, you know, I, to this day, I wake up every single day, so grateful and so blessed that I get to do this and share this with other women and other families and other couples and students and single mamas. I have so many single mamas on my team, you know, um, so many different backgrounds and stories. Like you heard with all these ladies have all different backgrounds and it's truly been seriously the best decision I ever made for my family. And I'm so grateful every single day that I just went for it because like all these ladies said, I mean, I watched someone for a year. It was my biggest regret. You know, if I just would have jumped in sooner and started this, but you know what? Everyone joins when they're ready. Right. So if you're watching us tonight and something, you know, one of our stories resonates with you and you're just sick and tired of being broke. I was sick and tired of being sick and tired. I was sick and tired of never getting ahead. I was sick and tired of, you know, my overdraft account and just paying interest on my credit card. I mean, I'm sure a lot of you have been there, a lot of people watching this. And you know what? I never thought I'd be doing anything like this because I just didn't know it existed, right? And I'm so grateful every single day for, you know, the corporate family and the company that is truly like a family, you know, and um, next week, we're all going down to Florida. Well, a couple of you ladies already live in Florida. Um, and I'm just, uh, yay, I'm in Canada, it's freezing. Um, and I'm just so grateful that, you know, we get to go to these corporate events, fill our cups up, come home, change more lives, help more people with the products. And these products have changed our lives, you know, um, like Kay said, her little boy stayed home today, my little daughter stayed home today. I have a six month old baby and he's just the love of my life. And, you know, I have my family at home, like my husband's at home. My husband was able to start his own business that's become successful. And he helps me with this on the side as well. So, you know, it's, it's truly amazing what this company has done for us. And I thank all you ladies for being on with us tonight. And um, yeah, if you guys are watching us seriously, our business booms every single year. 
at this time we are in the boom season and I mean it booms all the time right we're in you know we're just on fire our company and like all the ladies said new products all the time new countries and it's been so incredible what this company has done for us so thank you ladies so much to, for sharing with us tonight we went a little bit overboard but that's okay we like to chat so thank you ladies so much and um reach out to whoever invited you tonight or maybe you saw this um, on Facebook. I mean, that's what I kept seeing something on Facebook. And I'm so glad I went all in and you know, this has completely changed our lives. So thank you ladies so much. Have a great night. Bye.